Hello everyone, Code Ruins Christian here. I'm going to teach you how to make a Club Penguin logo like this one. Follow my instructions. File new. Sometimes you want to do a big one to start off with. So 500 times 500. It should look just like this. Width 500, height 500, resolution 200, and all the rest. You can name it whatever you want. Alright, so you have should have a sheet like this. Drag it. So it looks like this. Okay, so now you click on the big T for text. Click anywhere on the page. Type in your first word. You should highlight it, change the color to white. Mine's already white. Press OK. And then click on this right here. You should see your word right where my mouse is. Code. That's going to be your first word or whatever you want to put your first word as. Where that is. Click on stroke. Change the color to black. Zero, 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 zero. Keep the size as 3 and opacity as 100. Your drop shadow. Click on drop shadow. Your opacity should be 100. Distance should be 0. Spread should be 100. And size should be 6. You change the color to zero zero six six ff your inner shadow <coughs> should have an opacity of twenty then distance as five choke as zero and size as five you should be done with your first part press ok click on the big t for text type in ruins or whatever your second word's gonna be Change the color to FFBA00. You should change the size so it matches the size of um, code. Or whatever your first word is. Click this. Double click your second word. Click stroke. Color. Black 000000. zero, 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 zero. Okay. Inner shadow. Click the color. It's going to be FFBA00. Press OK. Your opacity should be 75, 5 for distance, 0 for choke, and 5 for size, and 0 for nose. Your drop shadow should have an opacity of 100, distance as 0, spread as 100, size as 6. Color should be zero zero six six ff press ok you should be done with that part drag ruins down so it matches good with your first word which is minus code you can change the canvas um, view by clicking image canvas size change this to pixels to 150 200 would be good for mine can keep modifying it if it doesn't do good. There. You should have this. And you see the background layer right here. Press delete on that. And it deletes so you can have an invisible photo. Now, to save it, you click File, Save As. Click on this and click on PNG. PNG. Save it as whatever you want. Click Save. 
none. Press OK. If you want this font, look in the description. It's called Bombastica. It's a really great font for clipping and logos. It's the same one that they use. And that should be it. Subscribe to Code Ruins. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.